This dude tough right here. I see why everybody after him, man. It'd be surprising to see who will pull out his commitment. Remember, we doing it. We doing it at 3.30. Let me Let's get it. Welcome to Watch, React, and Evaluate, Class of 23. One of the hottest quarterbacks in the class, named Jaden Rashada. Now, this young man has been lighting up 7-on-7s across the country and has been a hot topic when it comes to a lot of schools. Now, he was going to do his commitment on June 18th, but decided to push it back to June 26th so he had more time to reflect and think on one of the biggest decisions of his life. I certainly believe that's a smart move because at the end of the day, it is your decision and you have to make sure it's one that you are comfortable with. So here are the five finalists that he's decided to go with. University of Miami, University of Florida, LSU, Ole Miss, and Texas A&M. These five school fan bases are super excited about this young man's commitment and everybody will be watching. So be sure to do so right here on this channel at 3.30 on June 26th. So if you're a fan of any one of those five schools or just a fan of Coach Hayes and you like what I do, hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you're aware of all the latest content that comes out on this channel as well as leave a comment in the comment section of where you think he's going to go. Show the dude some love. It might sway his decision. Find out where you stand, man, when it comes to your measurables. He is six foot four. 185 pounds goes to pittsburgh high school in pittsburgh california he is a four star according to 247 sports the number fifth athlete in california the number seventh best quarterback in the class and the 45th best player in the nation Jaden rashada you about to get wre my man let's get it all right Jaden rashada let's get this thing rocking and rolling Let's see what you're talking about, man. Jaden Rashad, quarterback, 2023, 2021, eight game highlights. Let's go. Better be slanging this rock, my man. That's all I know. Here we go. Uh, great uh, uh, pass, man. Threw it with confidence, gave it enough air. Ball turned over the top. Love it. He's slanging that rock. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> Hey, he airing this deal out. Love this right here, right? He could have put a lot of air on it, but what he do? Gave it a little bit of oomph, put it right over the top of the head, and let's go. Oh man, I don't know what y'all doing, but this thing look like a doggone seven on seven air it out competition, man. Let's go. Bruh, your receivers are out of sight. Oh, these DBs terrible, man. Because y'all bombing them up. Let's go five. Good way to move in the pocket. Mm. And like I said, he threw that. Let's look at this right quick. He threw that going against the grain, right? Rolling to his left, right-handed quarterback. Squares his shoulders up. Look at this. Squares his shoulders and gets enough umph on that ball, enough arm strength to put it in the back of the end zone. Great job. Uh, this bombs over Baghdad right here, man. Jesus Christ. Bruh, I, if I'm playing you, Jaden, guess what? We ain't going to be playing up front. I know you like to air the ball out. Great throw right here. Let's talk about it. Right? What they call a slot fade today. Push the ball up. Look at this. Great job. Ball is here. Extended arms. DB can do nothing about it. All he has to do is catch it. Keep stride, never broke stride. Perfectly placed football, man. Well, hey, you might have put your arm in the doggone ice bucket when you finish the way you slinging this rock around. Yes, here we go. I like the fact that he puts this here. Watch him drive this ball a little bit, right? Ball is not high off the ground. Hits the guy right there, so he's protected. Great catch, great throw. Little underthrown receiver does a great job. I can tell you this. He is not afraid to pull the trigger. Let's go. And he puts it out there in a great spot, man. So guess what? Really, only his guy can get it. The, the uh, DB doesn't have a chance. And nobody's really fighting for the ball. Look at that. Over the outside shoulder. Great job. 
Touch is belie- unbelievable. There we go. Good pocket presence, escapability. There we go. That's what I want to see. Again, going against the grain and drive this ball. Man, that's how you throw darts, baby. <laughs> we two and a half minutes into this deal, and he's just throwing bombs over here, man. Great job. I mean, standing in the pocket fundamentally, he's sound. He's standing tall. He's driving his feet. Got it good. Watch this. Let me go back. Watch his hip rotation right here in his throat. That right there creates power, creates torque. Watch this. Watch his hips right here. Watch his hips. Uh, brings his hips around, drives that ball through there. I'm telling you, he got it. All right, let's talk about this little rollout. And this is going to be big right here. I see this happen a lot, especially with guys going kind of against the grain. If you look at it, let me go from the beginning of the clip. Right here, most times when you're going against, remember the ball is in your right hand. As you're running, your, your shoulders get twisted. He takes his ball relatively flat. You want to kind of belly off this line so as you come back to it, two things happen. Your shoulders remain square to and parallel to the line of scrimmage. Also, you're running away from the immediate threat here. You're getting away from it, buying you time for your receivers to get open. If you watch it, see how he has to kind of contort his body to get his ball around so he can make this throw. Now, this is not a hard throw. It's only what? Maybe 10, 12 yards. Not a big deal. But the further you get down the field or the deeper that throw has to be, that'll be much tougher to do. So get around, get your body around, get your shoulders back, back parallel to the line of scrimmage. But good, accurate throw. A little sidearm action. Come on, five. Uh, uh, let's go. Put the ball away. Come on. I talk about this all the time. Quarterbacks right here. Look at this ball. It's, it's up high. All right, you got to make that a habit. Protect the rock. I know you think you can get away, but these guys in college are faster, stronger, and quicker. They will get to that football. Protect it. I'd rather take a sack than give up a fumble. Look how loose the ball is through all this punishment. All right, but he gathers himself, throws a great pass, keep the play alive. Great job. You know, his highlight is set up pretty cool the way he's throwing all these deep balls. Now he's working on the intermediate passes. Right, look at this, all these kind of mid-range, the 15 to 25 yard throws. Never mind. <laughs> that one sailed on him, but he letting it ride. Hey, this dude is not scared, boy. This dude tough right here. I see why everybody after him, man. It'd be surprising to see who will pull out his commitment. Remember, we doing it. We doing it at 3.30. Let's go, baby. Again, look at that. Look how dry, how straight down the line he is. Okay, let's look at it. We got a great view right here. Look at the yellow line. He stays on this yellow line, right? If he bellies out, it makes, again, these are shorter throws so you can get away with it. I'm cool with that, all right? But you gotta be able to get out of the pocket and get around so it makes it easier to throw for you. Man, great job, right? I'm about to cut this off. Look at this. Keeping his eyes up down the field. Look at the arm angle. That's what I want to talk about. Doesn't have to get it there. A little sidearm action to get this ball out. All right? As they say, Mahomes-esque. Here are the pros to your game. One, you can throw the football. You are not afraid to let that thing go and pull the trigger. Two, you understand touch. You know when to drive the football. You know when to give the ball some air. You know when to take some fire off of it. Three, you know how to keep the play alive. Movement in the pocket, keeping your eyes downfield. You understand? That's super important as a quarterback. Everything is not going to always be right on time as you do it in practice. How do you keep the play alive? How do you get the ball down the field? You do so by moving your feet. Four, I noticed on your clip, you had great arm angles. You know how to turn that ball sideways when you're getting hit. Sometimes you got to put it over the top. That is big when it comes to quarterback. Sometimes you got to know how to throw around a defender, right? That defensive lineman is coming to bury you in the dirt. So that's huge right there, having the proper arm angle. Now, here are the cons to your game. One, again, you got a super long highlight. There were some reads I saw in that you missed underneath. 
Yeah, you got the long shot. I get it. Take it. But sometimes you have to learn in college. You got to take what the defense gives you at times. It is what it is. All right. Take it. Let those guys do the hard work for you. And two, when you move around in the pocket, you got to protect the football. I know that sometimes you had it loosey goosey out there, right? Remember, these defensive linemen are coming. These blitzing linebackers are coming. And they will tomahawk chop that ball out of them, man. You are certified ball on my book. We definitely going to be watching to find out where you commit to. And we'll see what's going on. So if you're a fan of any one of these schools, Miami, Florida, LSU, Ole Miss, or Texas A&M, hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you're aware of all the latest content that comes in this channel. Go chase a catch at the 50-yard line. Peace.